So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question. Obviously, what we have here is a graph. It's a linear graph. We have some points that have been identified for us. The first that I'm going to pay attention to is my y-intercept there, which is negative 5. So basically, when x equals 0, y equals negative 5. That's my y-intercept. We also have this point provided here, which corresponds to x equaling 1 and y equaling negative 3. Right? So x equals 1, y equals negative 3. And we have this point provided here, which is looks like when x is 2, y is negative 1. So we also have x equals 2, y equals negative 1. So I'm pointing those out because the question points them out, right? So I just want to make sure I'm not breezing over that and paying attention to what the question gives me. The question goes on to say the graph shows the linear relationship between x and y. Which table gives three values of x and their corresponding values of y for this relationship? Well, in essence, I have these relationships, these ordered pairs, that I can just use to plug into each answer choice to determine whether that answer choice is correct. So for choice A, for instance, our first ordered pair here says when x equals 0, y should equal 0. But we already know that that is not the case. We know that when x is equal to 0, y should equal negative 5. So choice A is gone. Choice B also says 0, 0, so that's gone as well. Choice C has 0, negative 5, so that's perfect. Let's look down to the next line. We have when x is 1, y is negative 7. But as we can see here, when x is 1, we should have y equals negative 3. So for that reason, choice C is gone. Choice D, perfect on the x equaling 0, y is negative 5. Also good on x when x is 1, y is negative 3. And as well as when x is 2, y is negative 1. So therefore, choice D must be the correct answer here.